So welcome to a new show. We are here with David Schenkel. Uh, how are you, man? I'm doing great. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for coming here for this interview. I know that you've been playing a lot. You're going to play tomorrow. Uh, how was that first impression of uh, Triumphs of Steel that you did in Santa Fe? It was wonderful. Like I, I've said before, I was hoping to come here and see the true Man of War fans. Some of them I've known from a long time ago. And a lot of new fans and seeing them wearing the t-shirts of the mighty Triumph of Steel and other Man of War t-shirts too. Man of War is Man of War, well, regardless what t-shirt you're wearing. And it felt good to be in front of those crazy true Man of War fans and hugging me and grabbing me on stage while I was playing and shredding. Most importantly, they all know the words to every song and they're all singing everything and the words to me, it, it, like chanting and it was great. There was one point at the show they were chanting something with my name. Gus from Fionnir knows what it was, but it felt really, really good to be there, and uh, it was overwhelming. I'm very happy. And uh, the good thing is that some songs of Trying of Steel were never played before until now. This Live. is true. Well, when I was in Man of War, Joey had a particular set list he'd like to play and only bring in some of the songs for some of the tours. We did do the full Achilles live when we first put the record out in 92 and then we did ride the dragon spirit horse and master of the wind but stuff like the burning demon's whip you know those songs were they were just never played live you know and uh, we're going to play some of those some of those songs or most of them with Fionor and most of all of Achilles so it's a combination of the stuff I played on Fionor like water gardens and uh, in the darkness And then, you know, almost the entire record of, a, of Triumph of Steel will be played, minus just a couple of songs due to legal litigations that were just, okay, you know, like Man of War's playing out, and they're doing, like, Master of the Wind and Spirit of the Horse, Cherokee. Uh, I'm not really doing those because it's okay, but I'm doing everything else, and that's what the fans were asking for. And how does it feel to play with Fia and Earth, since you already record with them on, on the latest record? It's a, uh, it's tremendous, you know. Gus and I have had a relationship via e internet and texting for a long time, and he spent a lot of hard work, a lot of time, he and I, and so many other people to help to get me over here to do these shows, and uh, it's paying off, you know. And we're just getting, we're just getting the engines revved up, and there's going to be a lot more to come heading into the new year, 2018. You're going to play, well, tomorrow at Roxy, then yes. you're going to Brazil. Uh, how do you expect to be the, well, when this is on air, it, it well, will be on you know, over, but People say, break a leg. I say, fuck that, break their legs. I am coming. I am fucking bringing a level 10 tornado with me and the mighty Fionor, and I am going to fucking crush... I am going to deliver super shred guitar in these fucking people's faces that they ain't seen for a long time. And let me tell you something, brother. There's a reason why people call me the shred demon, okay? I don't play pussy shit on guitar. I play over the neck faster than most guys do regular. I play power, might, true heavy metal. I got the Fionor album, We Are Heavy Metal, which is a brilliant record. And I'm very proud to be a, art of, art, a, a part of them. The artwork is tremendous. Done by this man sitting right here, the fucking mighty. This I love this fucking guy. He's my translator and security. So I love him for a lot of different reasons. But these fucking people, at the you come around here, brother, so people can see you. Get up out of that goddamn chair and get over here, so people can see you. This guy right here, this is our brother of true metal. He designed the t-shirts for Fionor, the album cover, Photoshop stuff for me. Fucking bodyguard, this man will fucking crush and kill like we're going to. We are bringing a level 10 tornado, and people hear these songs the way they want to hear them and make them happy. And you know, to hear these Man of War songs played with a different band, it's something I was very happy to be a part of and compose. And we are not fucking around, man. There's no fucking around here. I'm going to fucking come in here with anger, might. I'm going to greet every fan. I'm going to sign every autograph. I'm going to take every fucking picture there is and kiss every woman that wants to be kissed and sign their tits with my fucking marker and fucking lick it if they want and fucking take pictures because that's what we did in Manowar. We're going to do that now, and I'll tell you why. Because without the fans, nothing. 
You need the fans to buy the tickets, to buy the records, the t-shirts, to like your music. And I don't care if they're 10 of you or 10,000. We will treat you the same across the board. And I'm looking forward to hopefully, and I pray, that I will have the greeting that I've been having in Santa Fe. And, the, you know, and then some even more. And now, um, changing subject, because you are obviously one of the greatest players, at least the fastest The Shred Demon, of course. Um, well, I appreciate that. Some <laughs> may think that, some may not. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> If you like what I do, great. If you don't, that's okay. I fear nobody. And if somebody wants to try and prove me wrong, who and where is this imbecile? I don't give a shit. If you love me, great. If you don't, that's okay. I have my fans. Every, there's, other, there's lots of great guitar players out there. Love them for who they are. I'm who I am, and people know me. And if you like what I do, great. If you don't, then don't, don't, don't fuck you. There's an old saying I learned from Joey in Manowar. And I haven't, I've only said this in a few interviews, and I'm going to share this with you now and my brother here. If you've never seen the band before or you've never seen me play, come to the show. Come stand front row. Watch me play these Man of War songs and the mighty Fionor songs. If you like what you see, we'll hook you up, get you on a mailing list, maybe give you a t-shirt and a CD. If you don't like it, don't ever fucking come again. Fuck you. I don't get There you go. If you like it, we bring you in. If you don't, don't ever fucking come again then. You can't make everybody happy. But there'll be a hundred people around the one or two that may not like you that'll just smoke you, man. And so it really, you can't make everybody happy. So it is what it is. And you need to enjoy it. If that <laughs> explains it to you. That's why I am who I am, man. I'm like a wound up fucking machine all the time, man. I, I never come down. I'm always filled with power and might, man. And I guess... Maybe that's why I strive so hard to always come back here to be with the fans that put me on the map. Man of War, the Man of War fans, to get to know who the fuck is David Shankle, who's the Death Dealer, who's the Shred Demon. Well, listen to my records, watch me play, see my videos. <laughs> Enough fucking said, man. <laughs> There you go, right? Uh, and do you, you remember um, uh, looking backwards when you were playing in Chicago back in the days when you were listening to metal and, and say, hey, look where I got I'm here, I play in Man of War, I made hundreds of tours. It was a tremendous honor to get in that band because I was playing in a club band called Vengeance at the time at the most popular club in Chicago called the Thirsty Whale. And I'd won a couple of guitar competitions. The band Vengeance was one of the most popular. There was other bands. One of the most popular bands in uh, Chicago at the time. And, and that's when I met Ross and, and Joey and them. And we became friends. And you know, Ross had told them about me during the... Fighting the World record when I met Ross a year earlier. Then they came back to Chicago a year later mixing the Kings of Metal record. And that's where Joey and I, Scott Columbus, and Eric met. And uh, we became friends, and I ended up very quickly being in the band then. So, you know, I thank Man of War for that because they really got me worldwide recognition, and my time in the band will never be forgotten. You know, that record was one of the first records when it came out in two weeks. To be in the top ten in Germany and the first record to go gold and platinum from Man of War. I remember. I'm very, very, very proud of that. Even though I was only in the band touring for six years, my contract went for ten. But we are all still very good friends. Joey and 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 and, and, and Ross are like, go knock them dead, man. Do your thing. That was your record, brother. You know, you go to, you go show them what you got, and that's pretty much what I'm here to do. So I'm going to seriously fuck some people up with my guitar playing and I have a tremendous band behind me, Fionor all those guys in that band and Gus he has just been a godsend to me he has been wonderful, he's taken care of me everybody in the band has been good and uh, that's a good feeling to come here and my people at home, my family and everybody knows that I'm okay and uh, so I'm very happy very 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 happy <laughs> Now, uh, changing subject, uh, because you're also a teacher from the Fred yes. Academy. Right. Uh, you share with, with Michelangelo Badio. 
Uh, well, well, let me clear that up for you. I've been a teacher for 27 years from all different music school, private lessons, online lessons. I'm still starting when I get back after Christmas offering online lessons over Skype. People can contact me through my Facebook, David Shankle. Then there's David Shankle, too. I have the official fan page, David Shankle official fan page, Devil Land Facebook page. And up my website, davidshankle.com. And then the new band, Devil Land, that website's done. It's www.devillandmusic.com. That record comes out the end of January. Very heavy, very brutal music. And, uh, you know, all T-shirts, swags, everything is all available on the website. And I will be touring a little bit with that band. I saw them. There's a lot of merchandise. Yeah, there. a lot of merchandise, man. It's very good. My good That's friend good. And, and partner, uh, Joe Scartamaglia, with our manager, Johnny Pettigrass. You know, we have the whole thing set together. My singer, Sean Jacks. We, uh, it's a tremendous record. Scott McCullen, uh, who wrote a lot of the stuff with us, composed the guitar player. He mixed the record. And uh, so uh, we have it mastered, and it's done. It's great. Very excited about that coming out. And uh, how would you say to a kid or a teenager who grabs his first guitar... And once you're starting to, to play and to, to feel metal, I would tell him, do not listen to no other music than true metal. Find the, the metal music you like, find the guitar players you like, and analyze those guitar players' style. Look into what makes who they are and what you like about them, and take a little bit from each guy. Bite a little bit off and take it and culminate it into your own style and choose what works for you to learn. We all have to learn from everybody. And as you develop your skills and your art, then as you get better, you have the opportunity to really open up the door to develop your own style the way you do things. Find the best guitar player you can in your hometown. Do not be afraid to take lessons. Go take lessons, study, listen, see what these guys are doing, and move on. And find another guy and get bits and pieces from guys so you have different avenues coming at you. As many avenues. There's an old saying that I have, too. If you're in a boat and it starts to fucking sink, you got two choices. You either can jump in the water and you know how to swim, or you get a life preserver or make it, or you're going to sink. The more knowledge you have the better off you will be to open up doors for you in composing, playing, and melody. There's no shame in trying to find knowledge in music and taking lessons. Even go to a music school as you get older out of high school. There's GIT, Roosevelt University, where I graduated from. So there's, there's, there's many, many options out there. But that's what I would recommend. Because now, we didn't have, back when I was learning to play... All this, all this internet stuff and, and uh, you know, YouTube. You know, it was all learning from a record or cassette tape before all those VHS hot lick video things came out and stuff. But so it's so easy for people to learn stuff they want. Now, I recommend, you know, take lessons. Learn as much knowledge as you can. Hey, I really appreciate it for being here in Wolf's War. Um, I know that you play a very fast show. Uh, I watch it on, on some videos they... In uh, Caracaraña, <laughs> I know that Santa Fe. <laughs> in Santa Fe, <laughs> don't make me say the word because no, I never I fucking get it right. I, I, I But won't. I'm working on it, man. <laughs> I'm going to learn how to say that word to, before and, I leave. And I know he's trying really hard. Oh, to do it. everybody <laughs> around me trying to go there. Can, 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 it never fucking works, man. <laughs> But we destroyed that place when we played there, so maybe they'll forgive me <laughs> for my bad uh, 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 the way I say it. I hope they will forgive me for that. No, we will. <laughs> I do the best I can on that one. <laughs> Tomorrow at Roxy, you have another great show to come, and then oh, yeah. Brazil. And uh, what's up to 2018? Well, I have the Devil Land record coming out, and I'm announcing now that I'm putting DSG back together to do a fourth record. But I have some wonderful new people in my life with Gus and Fionor. And he and that band is surrounded by wonderful people, and one of them is that man sitting right there. And I can't give away everything, but I can tell you this. Fionor is on the rise, and we are going to crush. Gus has done so many things to help me and to get me over here and to make things work. I, I couldn't have asked for a better partner to have to team up with, and I know he's standing there, yeah. so that's okay. I love it. So without saying too much, 
Everybody out there in fucking metal land, you better be watching out for Fiona because Dave Shankel and Fiona are coming at you. We're going to crush you. We are going to bury you. We are going to melt your face. We are going to metalize you and make you be reborn in true metal with my fire-breathing dragons and super shred guitar. No fucking pussy music. If you can't handle it, leave the fucking hall, motherfuckers. That's what I got to say. (laughs) Then we have the fat cobra. And horse cock. <laughs> Dave. Nice pleasure. Hey, thank you very much, here. brother, for having me. I appreciate so, it. Thanks, everybody in the world. The Fred here. This is World War. You can listen to this interview. You can watch this interview on YouTube, on Facebook. Like this guy. Like his music. He's awesome. Thank you very much, man. Come to the shows and shred.